Hey everyone! Today, we've got a tutorial that many of you have been asking for. How to create a bootable USB drive using Rufus. Whether you're looking to install a new operating system or run a diagnostic tool, having a bootable USB is a handy skill to have. So let's dive right in. The first thing you'll need to do is download Rufus. Visit the official Rufus website and download the latest version of Rufus. Rufus is a free and open source tool that makes creating bootable USB drives a breeze. Once the download is complete, go ahead and run the Rufus executable. Next, make sure you have your USB drive handy. Plug it into an available USB port on your computer. Now, let's configure Rufus. On the main screen, you'll see a few options. Select your USB drive from the drop-down menu under Device. Click on Select next to Boot Selection and choose the ISO file of the operating system or software you want to make bootable. For Partition Scheme, choose either MBR or GPT based on your system architecture. If you're not sure, check your computer's documentation or use the MBR option as it is more widely compatible. Choose the appropriate file system, either NTFS or FAT32. You can leave cluster size at the default setting. Once you've configured the settings, click on the Start button. Rufus will display a warning that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Make sure you've backed up any important data before proceeding. Click OK to confirm, and Rufus will start creating the bootable USB. This process may take some time depending on the size of the ISO file and the speed of your USB drive. Once the process is complete, Rufus will display a ready message, indicating that your bootable USB drive is ready to use. And there you have it, a bootable USB drive created using Rufus. That's it for today's tutorial on creating a bootable USB drive with Rufus. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.